My destiny was to be born a simple man, a humble tradesman with little formal education. My life was of the common kind with desires and fears. Ran through faith in my teacher and up. So here he comes, he tells the story from the perspective of being a somebody. Yet when you realize who you are, who you are is not somebody. Means it has nothing to do with a body, a physical body. Who you are is bodiless. Who you are is thoughtless. Who you are is prior to it all. It exists without it, the body, and the thought. And it exists because as existence itself, it is continuous, eternal. That means when there is a thought and there is a body, and there is a story formed around it, you as existence remains unaffected. So he shares a story to around the body because for anybody who goes outward, we still might believe that what we perceive is a physical body. Yet if we start to pay attention to the thoughts or the words and where they are pointing at, you might realize what is prior to a body and to a thought. What's prior to any physical, what's prior to any mind. Yes? So when he, but so out of kindness, he uses the word like, my destiny was to be born a simple man of tradesman. That's out of kindness for the listener. It's for, what I see is for normal communication. So, you can tell a story to somebody, yet you do not believe the story to be real. Yet, the one who listens to the story might totally identify with the story and believe it to be real. So, stories been been used for thousands of years to point to that which is beyond all stories. So he's using a story to convey a message through the story itself. I use it a lot. I use story or I tell a story. Through the story it has a, a message to convey. If you get stuck on the story, you miss the message. If you pay attention to the message, the story is irrelevant anymore. It's like this. It's like you mentioned before the story of, or brought up between the child. You're reading a fairy tale to the child, huh? Yes. The child ends up believing it, but you telling the story don't believe it. That's right. That's right. So you can tell a story, read a story to a young child. You know it's a story. You never believe the story to be true. You realize that there is no fairy tale, none of it. Yet the child goes into it and believes it, identifies with it, start to relive it, and still it remains just a story, imaginary. So he goes through his story because he has messages. To his words, I realized my true being. I left behind my human nature to look after itself. So he said he trusted, he followed what the guru had told him, and he left the body, the human nature, to take care of itself. That means, and something one has to understand, is that what enables for anything to appear is existence, is awareness itself, which is yourself. So it's to care and take care of everything. So why one has suddenly have to be concerned about taking care of what they perceive themselves to be when even up to this point the self was being able was taking care of them it's like <clears throat> 
somebody can ask, did I exist prior to birth, right? So did I? Sure. What? We exist all the time. You're, 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 you've, always, you've always existed. We never did anything else but exist. Okay, except for, for as a person. Oh, as a person. Did we ignore? Before birth, did we exist? Not, not as the object that we see at birth. Okay, yet in the nine month? We develop. So I, I actually was before when people say, how old are you? How many people says, I am 43 plus nine month? No, nine month doesn't count. It, 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 in some cultures in Korea. Yes. Okay. Okay. In Korea it counts. Okay, good. So basically what we can see that even there, I was not concerned about myself, isn't it? And a higher power took care of everything. Mm -hmm. And then apparently on a physical form, I was born. And I've been taken care of by a higher power. And then as I grew up, I was taken care of by a higher power. So the higher power is the source of all. And this is who I truly am. So can I really trust that higher power who took care of everything, always did, always will, always is? Yeah. I can, isn't it? And how you presented it, there is only one answer, yes. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> so there's not many options. <laughs> yeah, but that's as you presented it. Um, the question that will arise, uh, can see what quite many questions arise is then what was the what was the purpose of going through that that con that conceptual child infant and growing up and everything else that happens to that person we have to live our human nature in order to realize our true nature the human nature is my false identity that I am a separate entity. The real nature is not nothing to do with the human nature. It's nothing to do with any separate entity. It is who you truly are. So we became in order to realize through becoming that we are not what we became to be. We are prior to becoming. We are always what is. So you need the human body to be able to achieve that. You need the human form. I, I see, I see yeah. a little confusion here in the sense that you are what you are and you've always been what you are. So why this activity to find out who you are? because due to ignorance I forgot who I am. What's the difference? You still are. Except there is no recognition of it. And if there's no recognition, again, who cares since you are what you are? You cannot destroy it, you can't do anything. It exists. Ex Whether you know it, achieve it, or you don't know it. So the answer would be there was a king and he decided he never left but the palace his experience his only experience was being a king he doesn't know anything else other than being a king and then one day he sneaks out of the palace and he starts to roam around the streets and suddenly something hits his head he gets knocked down, he falls. When he wakes up, he forgot that he was being a king. So now he's wondering, he doesn't know who he is. 
yet he feels separate. He's not sure what's going on and he's like hungry. So he's giving his clothes and they get some food and then he's being on the street and he gets filthy and he gets dirty and he's like begging for food and, and, and suddenly one day all the ministers of the kingdom, everybody is looking for the king because he suddenly one day disappeared. Somebody of his ministers walking on the street and they see this filthy man. Already his hair, beard grew up and his nails and dirty and he's like begging and he's looking and he's looking and he's looking closer and he's looking closer and, he's, and he uses the king's name. He's like, you're the king. And he doesn't remember his name. And he decides, he, he runs to the kingdom, he calls more ministers, and he says, this is, I think it's the king, I don't know, he doesn't respond to his name, he doesn't recognize me, let's take him to the kingdom, shave him, cut his hair, wash him, clip his nails, let's see what's going on, if this is really the king. So they take him. And he walks with them because he doesn't care. He doesn't know what's going on. He totally forgot himself as being a king. And he goes to the kingdom and they start to shave him. And he's looking around and he starts to get oriented, being familiar. He starts to remember getting familiar with the kingdom. Slowly he recognizes one person and he uses his name. And they say, oh, he recognized this man. And slowly, he starts to recollecting his uh, memories back of being the king. And when they sh shave him, he's back looking like the king. Yet, his experience is not yet of being a king. So, only when he starts recollecting all his memories of being a king and he come and he remembers that he was the king and he's actually is the king and he now knows that he is the king he's back for being being becoming or being a king that answers the question that's the difference it's that story tells the story of how you are who you are and then there was a forgetfulness sets in, and then you imagined yourself to be a, a separate entity, a person with a name and a form and uh, inside the world. And then as you start to realize who you are as changeless, boundless awareness, you start to recollect what you already know and there was just forgetfulness that was setting in, setting in, setting in, and was basically veiling your true nature. So that's the difference. Well, I, I've enjoyed the story, but there's also there's a word that comes up. That means I, I have to accept the story as my life. So it was a gift to be born as a human being, or a, which is, I've been told, a conceptual idea <coughs> of the mind. So this whole conceptual movie that's gone on, created by the mind, is in order to know itself, in order for it to regain its kingdom. So the question, yeah, the main main question that I ask, if you stay honest with yourself, when you sense the presence which is you, which is not conceptual, which is prior to any thought, there is a direct knowing, isn't it? Yes. And how does that feel? Blissful, peaceful. Okay. It, those are words that I'm using, but I can't really put a word to it. 
It feels good. It feels great. Feels yeah, okay. One second. When you identify and there's forgetfulness of who you are, and then suddenly you feel that you are somebody going through a particular experience and it should be different, and then your personality plays itself out, and you identify with that. How does it feel? Sometimes it feels great, and sometimes it feels horrible. Yet, does it? have the same freshness, the same presence? No, it's, it's more, I, I would have to say, it's more um, nerve-orientated. You know, the nervous system itself, the yeah. body is experiencing these ups and downs. So, one has freshness? No. And when you experience who you are, there is freshness? Yes. And it's consistently fresh? Yes. The same old, always. Yet, although it's the same, because it's changeless, it's always here, it's always now, and it's the only experience there is, isn't it? Yes. So, this is the knowingness that you are the king. And when there is forgetfulness, if you're honest, you recognize, oh, that's not who I am. So you can discard it. You can negate it. You can shift the attention from it. You can question it. You can even question if there is a real separate entity.